Hope you enjoyed that little clip there. It's pretty clutch, if I may say so. So you'll notice I did a few things here. One, two headshots. Brilliant. Okay, I'm going to be teaching you how to get headshots eight out of ten times in this video. And then also I baited him to shoot, so I was jumping about. And then I dived to the right and got back up and headshotted him. So I'm going to be teaching you how to do little things like this and much, much more. Okay, so step number one, get your settings set up. So these are the Red Dead settings that I use for sensitivity. You're going to have all your um, aim assist on, you're going to have it on normal. You're going to make sure, you're going to just basically follow the highlighted sections of this video, which are the most, most important things. This will give you a very nice, natural, smooth feeling sensitivity and will work well with the aim assist that you're going to use. Step number two, if you have an Xbox Elite controller, set your right stick to smooth. This is going to enable you to do small, finer, more accurate movements and then enable you to flick up quite quickly if needed. I'll go more into detail about this later on in the video. Another two things that you can do is set your back left panel to LB which is your weapon wheel and this creates a smoother and more natural way to weapon switch and finally it might be worth setting your right back panel to right stick in to act as looking behind you step number four using these settings to get those headshots use the aim assist that you have to guide your aim Simply move up the right analog stick about halfway, depending on how far they are away. You may need to be more or less, depending on their distance, and get that kill. Now the bolt action rifle has a bit of a pain in the ass issue where after you've fired you have to bolt the gun and that enables you to shoot again. Now to do this you have to be zoomed in, which means you're vulnerable because you're stood still when you're zoomed in. So what I do is to prevent this, I reload and run about whilst reloading. This skips this requirement and means you're ready for your next shot. So my second to last tip, if you're getting shot from behind and you're not too sure where, make sure you press left trigger and X to dive and keep spamming that whilst using your right analog to look behind you to try and find out where the person is that's shooting you. Once you have them spotted, you can get up, line up, and headshot. Now for my final tip, this is going to be how to 180 someone that's chasing you and kill them. So first you would switch to your shotgun, then you would either use the right back panel on the elite controller which I told you to map to right to the right analog stick being clipped in, otherwise you just use the right analog stick and click that in. Once you swap to your shotgun, you're looking behind you. You press the left trigger to aim and shoot and that automatically is a 180 and they're never going to expect it. So yeah guys, that's it. I hope this helped. If anyone has any tips or any suggestions, comments, if anyone needs any help, again, leave it in the comments. And if you enjoyed, subscribe, like, whatever, it's up to you. I don't really mind. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in Red Dead.